Hello everyone, this is Ula from setmefreefinancially.com website that has been created to share my knowledge and experience and to inspire other people to upgrade their lives, to achieve things or goals that they have been keeping deep inside. I know that there is something inside of you you always felt like you gotta do or been wanting to change, but maybe you haven't decided yet. Or else you fear of failure and you're stuck in one place. Nevertheless, I'm here maybe to help you find it or set it free that's what this website is about it's very personal too you can find your memories from my travel business tips and success stories of people i met along the way maybe you know me from my previous video i'm 32 year old polish woman that made it to be financially independent i love to travel i love to meet new people and i'd like to know you as well but first, let me give you some insights about the topic I want to talk today. So today we're gonna talk about the state of happiness. Happiness is hard to describe without actually using the word. Henry David Thoreau in his book Walden wrote, happiness is like a butterfly. The more you chase it, the more it will elude you. But if you turn your attention into other things, it will come and sit softly on your shoulder. We crave to be happy and we are able to do all it takes to be happy. Aristotle, the ancient Greek philosopher, believed that happiness was more than a state of mind. You could feel happy, but you could also be happy. He thought this was the result when two key elements of your lives joined together. Heronia, the feeling of pleasure, and eudaimonia, having a good life. Happiness occurs when you do something you enjoy and when you feel content with your life. Actually, as adults, we are becoming more and more unhappy. It's all due to less free time and a lot of more worries, pressures from work, family issues, relationship problems. It burns us out. But... Do we have to follow the pattern? Can't we really do nothing about it? I strongly believe that your life is in your hand, like mine is my hand, and you are able to help yourself. These are my top tricks how to maintain happiness. First, change your perspective. Happiness is state of mind. That's the good news because you can choose to be happy. Simply make the effort to monitor the workings of your mind. Make a conscious choice to boost your happiness. It's all in your head. In the happiness hypothesis, mind is compared to a man riding an elephant. The elephant represents the powerful thoughts and feelings, most unconscious, that drive your behavior. The man, although much weaker, can exert control over the elephant just as you can exert control over negative thoughts and feelings. Happiness is about your inner reaction to events, what you think and believe and how problems affect you as a person. You can change your mindset and your attitudes by changing your habits. Second, write down your negativity and reframe it. I love this one. All that you have to do is to take a piece of paper, divide it in half, on one side, write down negative emotions such as pessimism, resentment, and anger, or whatever you might be feeling. On the other side, write the opposite, positive emotions such as empathy, serenity, and especially gratitude. If you're thinking of a specific situation or a person that make you feel bad or sad or angry, give it just one proof of the positive emotion that is related to that person. For example, you might say, I hate my friend from work because this is this and that. So you write down the feeling of hatred, write hatred, then write as well, just one, and I'm sure you can force yourself to do it, prove that you love him or her. Love is the opposite feeling to hatred, right? So it would be like this. I love this person, this friend, because one time or whatever, he helped me with something. And from now on, Focus your mind for a while on this positive content only. You will see how your thinking will change about the person, about the situation. Number three, stick close to things that cause smile on your face. Yeah, it's just like that. This is really helpful when you feel down. 
think of this one activity, maybe your hobby that makes you happy, or if you don't have any particular hobby, pick a skill, master it, work till you own it, think of something you've always liked when you saw others doing it, and just start it, go there, do it, fake it till you make it. It can be sport, it can be extreme sport, painting, gardening, or taking care of a puppy. For me, this is ice skating. It gives me power and a lot of endorphins. And when I finish my training, I feel like my mind got good reset and I feel like renewed. And I love this feeling. Know that excellence in anything increases your potential in everything. Number four, choose job that you love. We spend most of our life at work or doing something for others. We're in service. So make sure that you dedicate yourself to the cause that fills your body and your soul with positive feelings. If you don't have any positive feelings about your work, maybe it's a sign that you should change it or find a better environment, place where you feel appreciated, where people are grateful for what you do and where you can use your talents as well. That's important. Number five, have close relationships. Yes, relationships are perhaps the most important thing when it comes to overall, overall life satisfaction, at least for most people on this planet. How many close relationships should I have, you might ask? Well, more friends don't mean more happiness. Quality of the people in your life matters the most, so you should choose well. Human beings, us, are social animals. It is proven that people get a happiness boost when they are around positive, loving companions. Fostering close relationship with the people around you, whether that means friends, family, neighbors or work colleagues, provides a powerful source of love and support and increases feelings of self-worth. Number six, treat yourself well. A healthy brain is essential when pursuing happiness. Nutrition plays an important part in this. The food we eat can regulate our mood and improve our brain functions, so ultimately increasing our happiness to a higher level. There are particular vitamins like vitamin D that comes from the sun, B6 or B12 found in foods as broccoli or potatoes, and nutrients that we can eat which have an incredible impact on our brain and our body. You can also go shopping if this is what uh, you like and it makes you happy. Buy yourself something nice as a gift from you to yourself. Well, not only that. In fact, there are many research that shows that most people are far more happy when buying experiences than buying material goods. So, do something crazy from time to time. Number seven. Plan a trip to a new place. This is one of my favorites. Travel is the perfect catalyst for happiness. Being in a foreign country forces me to step out of my comfort zone and it is a great confidence builder. I've learned so much about the world and most importantly about myself. Do you know the saying by Saint Augustine? He said, the world is a book and those who do not travel read only one page. Think of it. Okay, and the last one, number eight. Have short-term and long-term vision of your life. It's very important. Ask yourself a question. Where do you want to be? Where do you see yourself in one year, then in five years, and then in 10 years? Look, without clear vision, you can easily get stuck in your life. You might feel that nothing interesting happens, that it's boring, but you don't see how much you've worked already, where you started and when you are today. You need to have goals and make your decision based on what you truly want to happen in your life. Without short-term and long-term vision, you will always feel lost and unhappy, unsatisfied in your life. So it turns out that happiness can be a matter of choice, not just luck. But if you have tried it all and it doesn't help you to bring back your happiness, you can always try a session with licensed life coach who will help you go through the process. Remember, 
you're never alone. There are always people who will be willing to help you out. But also remember, some days are just bad days. That's all. You have to experience sadness to know happiness. Now I would like to hear from you. So please comment this video and go to my website and leave your comment soon. And this is Sol, my puppy, and she's also asking you to comment this video and visit our website. See you next time, right? See you next time. And yeah, bye.